The Kids for Cash scandal is once again being played out inside a courtroom in Luzerne County. Two corrupt judges accepting millions of dollars in kickbacks in exchange for sending thousands of juveniles to private detention centers for minor crimes. WBRE 28, WYOU 22, Eyewitness News, I team reporter Annie Mahalshik has covered this case from day one. He joins us live from the federal courthouse in Wilkes-Barre with more. Andy? Good afternoon, Nick and Kansas. Quite frank, it's hard to believe this Kids for Cash scheme really has been in the news for the past 10 or 15 years, and even before that, before it became known to the public. Well, hundreds of victims of that scheme are now telling their stories to a federal judge. It's all part of a civil lawsuit against corrupt judges Mark Chivarella and Michael Conant. And I could tell you, lots of drama, lots of emotion, and lots of tears inside courtroom number three here at the federal courthouse in downtown Wilkes-Barre, all of them telling each individual story about how the scheme changed their lives forever that I was never going to leave there. Not much else, just I'm never leaving here. I'm going to die here. Ashley Acri fought back tears as she told a federal judge that she could not believe she was being sent away by Judge Mark Chivarella for allegedly resisting arrest. She was 16 years old. She still deals with depression and anxiety. But she says Chivarella could not break her, could not break her spirit. I forgive him. I do, I forgive him. There's other kids who had bigger problems than I did. So I want you to know that I graduated college <laughs> and that's it. I forgive you. Federal prosecutors say thousands of juveniles were sent away from minor offenses as part of a kickback scheme involving former Luzerne County judges Mark Chivarella and Michael Conahan. Investigators say the crimes took place between 2002 and 2008. They were accused of accepting millions of dollars in kickbacks in exchange for sending juveniles to a private juvenile detention center in which they had a business interest. Conahan pleaded guilty to one kind of racketeering conspiracy and was sentenced to 17 and a half years in prison. He was released in 2020 because of COVID-19 concerns. Chivarella stood trial in 2011 and was convicted on 12 of 39 counts and is now serving 28 years in prison. Lindsay Marie Bell was sent away to juvenile detention for three months because she skipped school. We should never have went through and never have done. We should have never been locked up like we were, thrown in like cats and dogs in and out of a courtroom, locked up in chains as 14 years old. We, it should have never went down like that. Judy Laura Fisher is here to support all the victims and their families. Her niece, Amanda, was sent away by Chivarelle for five years. She'll testify at this hearing next week. I'm here today for all the other children and all the other family members that are victim of Kids for Cash. And I think it's important to show support for each other. Now we do have to point out the former judges waived the legal right to be present at the hearing or have representative on their behalf. Now this trial is expected to take two, two or three weeks. Now there's been many twisted turns to the Kids for Cash scheme. We have more information on PAHomepage.com. Now very quickly, we're talking about Mark Albright. I'm going to show you something. Here's the courthouse, courtroom number three on the first floor. Across the street on the prayer board for the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church on South Main Street, Wilkesbury. This message, somebody wrote this message today during the hearing. Kids for Cash, God loves you. Keep you your head up, love, peace, and happiness. So people are still talking about it and empathetic with the victims. Reporting live for the I team in downtown Wilkes-Barre, Andy Mahalshi, 2822 Eyewitness News.